Hi guys, are you struggling with limited range on your IP cameras connected to your PoE and VR? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Today in this video, we'll walk you through a comprehensive guide on how to extend the range of your IP cameras from your PoE and VR. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Fast Cabling, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest uploads. And since you are the reason that we love creating content. So power over Ethernet is a technology that allows both data and electrical power to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. In the context of IP camera setup, PoE eliminates the need for separate power cables, simplifying the installation process significantly. Traditional security cameras often require a dedicated power source, which can be challenging to set up, especially in areas where power outlets are limited. But with PoE, power is delivered to the IP cameras through the same Ethernet cable used for data transmission. This not only reduces, reduces cable clutter, but also provides a more flexible, and cost-effective solution for powering multiple cameras in a civilian system. Generally, Ethernet cables can transmit data and power up to a maximum distance of 100 meters, that's about 328 feet. And beyond the recommended cable length, IB cameras might experience signal loss, voltage drop and increased latency, leading to unreliable connection, potential video feed interruption, and delay in video transmission, limiting the coverage area and overall effectiveness of the civilian systems. So selecting the right equipment is paramount in ensuring the effectiveness, reliability, and longevity of any tech-driven system, especially in the context of PoE extenders for IP camera setup. Now, PoE extenders are devices designed to extend the range of PoE network. They work by amplifying the power and data signal, allowing for longer cable runs between the PoE and VR or switch and the connected device such as the IP cameras. PoE extenders are available in various models, supporting different power capacities and cable length. If your PoE devices such as your bullet camera are in store outdoor, it's crucial to choose PoE extender specifically designed for outdoor use. These extenders are built to withstand harsh weather conditions, ensuring reliable performance even in rain, snow, or extreme temperatures. So consider the power requirement of your BOE devices. Different extenders have varying power capacity. Ensure that the extender that you choose can handle the total power needed by all the connected devices. And also select the PoE extender that are easy to install and configure. Look for user-friendly features such as the plug and play functionality. And by considering these factors and selecting PoE extender tailored to your specific need, now you can ensure a robust and reliable PoE network for your civilian systems. So next I'm going to show you some of our PoE extenders. This one right here is our outdoor PoE extender. By installing, this PoE booster can easily manage PoE transmission limitation even at outdoor environment with its distinguished waterproof design and simple plug and play installation. And it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF AT and BT standard, support 60 watts of maximum output power, and fast Ethernet up to 100 megabit per second data transmission. Also, it offers 1,500 feet continuous CAT5E or CAT6 PoE distance when adding the second PoE extender. And next we have here 
the outdoor two port PoE gigabit extender. Now you can place it between the PSE and the PD, achieving Ethernet signal boosting and support 60 watts 802.3 BT standard. So it is capable of supplying a maximum of 30 watts output for a single port and extending it for 100 meters over a single Ethernet cable. It's equipped with two PoE output port. Only one PoE cable is needed if demand for supporting two IP devices. Last but not least, we have this one. This is our 95 watts waterproof PoE extender with up to 60 watts PoE output reliably extend the Ethernet port to install IP cameras beyond 100 meters even in extremely harsh environment. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees and 1000 megabit per second gigabit transmission is available. And all of our PoE extenders are IP66 waterproof rated. You can even bury them under the ground. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to connect to this bullet camera two meters away from our PoE and VR. So let's see, we have 100 meters Ethernet cable here, an outdoor PoE extender in the middle, and another 100 meters Ethernet cable. This side we have our PoE and VR. So we are going to do the installation soon. But first, I'm going to tell you some tips about the proper placement and positioning of PoE extender. They're important for ensuring optimal signal strength and reliable network performance in your civilian system. When installing PoE extenders, it is essential to position them strategically between the PoE switch or PoE MVR and the PoE devices such as the camera to amplify the signal effectively. So place the extender at a point where the original PoE signal is still strong to ensure the extended signal remains stable and avoid placing the extender too close to the PoE switch or the MVR as this can overload the device and degrade the signal quality. And if you encounter signal drop or intermittent connectivity, first you need to check the cable connection to ensure they are secure and free from damage. Verify that the extender is receiving sufficient power and that is compatible with the PoE switch or the NVR and the connected devices. And if issue persists, consider upgrading to a high quality Ethernet cable like a Cat5e or a Cat6 cable, as low quality or damaged cable can significantly impact the signal strength and reliability. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So this is our router to provide the main network data. I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it with our PoE NVR. This NVR not only can storage and manage video footage, but also provide PoE technology. So I'm going to plug in the 100 meters Ethernet cable to the PoE port, and the monitor is already connected. Coming over here, we have 100 meters Ethernet cable and another 100 meters, so total 200 meters. I'm going to place this outdoor PoE extender in between. As you can see, we have the input port and the output port. And it's mounted on a special rack, allows you to flexibly mount it on a DIN reel. Just like this, plug into the input port from our router and this is the output port connected to the other 100 meters Ethernet cable. I took out the neck and the gland for faster installation but make sure you fasten it with a wrench. And coming over to the edge we are going to connect with the bullet camera. So now it's providing both power and data through this single Ethernet cable. And as you can see, the indicated light is on. So the video footage will display on our monitor soon. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video, so the whole connection is done now. 
Additionally, optimizing your extended range setup for IP cameras involves several key considerations to ensure a smooth and efficient civilian system. For example, network segmentation. Creating a dedicated network for your IP cameras separate their traffic from other devices. It can reduce congestion and potential conflicts. Next is the bandwidth management. Efficiently manage the bandwidth usage of your IP cameras by adjusting their resolution and frame rate setting. Lowering this setting can significantly reduce the network load. And if you encounter persistent issues despite your effort, always consider seeking help from professional network technicians like us. We have the expertise to diagnose complex network problems and optimize configuration. Professional assistants can help you save time, minimize frustration, and ensure you extend its range setup operates at its best. So feel free to contact us now. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us. If you have any question, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the question description box below. And I'll see you in the next video.